I thought I'd take a minute and show you guys some of the hotkeys and time-saving features that I use a lot in Daz Studio. First of all, let's start off with our navigation toolbar right here. We all know what these buttons do, but lesser known is the fact that you can actually right click on these and get a whole new set of functionality. So play around with those and maybe you can find some time saving ways to get around your scene. But I'm going to show you how I get around my scene. I don't use the navigation toolbar because I want my eyes here on my canvas at all times. So holding down control and alt, I just left click to get my orbit tool and right click to get my pan tool. And then I zoom in and out with my mouse wheel. So you can see I can get around really quick without ever having to take my eyes off of my scene. And this is done with Option Command on a Mac. Another key that I use a lot, say I want to go into my hand here to do some editing. Click on the hand and hit Control F or Apple F on a Mac and that's going to frame it in close and it's going to orbit around whatever bone you have selected. Another thing I'm always doing in posing and animating is switching in between my views here. But I don't want to be going up and toggling through these individually. A quicker way is just to hold down control and use your arrow keys. So here's left, right, up is back view and down is front view. So to get the top and bottom view, you hold down Alt, Up for top view, Down for bottom view. So let's hit Control P and that's going to bring us back to our perspective view. How some people like to navigate is actually using the keyboard as your navigation tools. So with this toggled on, your keyboard navigation toggled on, if you hit W, it's going to zoom in, S is going to zoom out, A is going to go left, D right. So it's kind of like the navigation on a video game. And if you select this tool, you can actually click and drag around and it'll act like your look. So you can navigate around like this. This is not how I personally like to navigate, but some people really like this. And if you pull up your tool settings with this on, you can see right here all the commands. You can also use your right hand on J, K, I, and L as your look tool. So you can actually use both hands on the keyboard at the same time, but this ends up just making me sick. So I do not use that, but some people are very good with that. Q cranes up, E cranes down, U tilts left, O tilts right, Alt P. And it's all right here in your tool settings pane. So let's go back to our universal tool. I'm going to go back to control alt, right clicking, left clicking. And what I usually do to get a full sense of the scene, hit shift F11 and that's going to bring you into your full screen view. So using your hotkeys, you really have nothing in between you and your scene. For Mac users, sometimes Shift F11 doesn't work, so you can just go into your window, full screen mode right there. You can actually customize the hotkeys that Studio uses. Just hit F3 and it's going to bring up this window. Then you can go in and actually see what the hotkeys are, and you can actually right click change keyboard shortcut and then whatever key you push that's going to change what hot key triggers that but I do not want that to save so I'm just going to cancel and you can bring up F3 at any time to see a list of what the hot keys are another thing that I often do is switch in between my draw modes right here but again rather than bringing up this sub-menu every time. I just hit control and 1 through 0 is going to 
toggle through each control setting. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Zero and nine are what I use the most because that's your texture shaded and your NVIDIA iRay. And one last hotkey that I use quite a bit when I'm lighting a scene when you're in your texture shaded draw mode and you have a light sometimes you can't see the detail of what's going on in your scene because it's driven by what the light can see so if you just hit control L that'll toggle on and off your scene lights so if you guys have any tricks or tips that helps you save time in Daz Studio please leave them in the comments below I would love to hear them and the community would love to hear them as well